come on, man. Wow. All I can say is, damn, man, damn. Bro, we just started. Today's the first day. Today is the first day of training camp. And all of a sudden, something like this happens? Come on, man. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> Gus Edwards just tested positive. So, he's going to be out for the next 10 days. He will not be able to participate in the practices for the beginning of training camp. He will be available to come back and practice with the team. I believe oh, it, like the week of the preseason game, he'll be back to participate. But for the next 10 days, he will not be able to practice with the other guys. Obviously, he's going to take part of any of the Zoom meetings. You know how it is, the usual. He'll be able to participate in that, but he will not be at practice. Man, first day of football officially being back. And this is what we get. Come on, man. Please don't let it be that type of season, man. We got, we got so much high hopes. Please, please. We got so much high hopes. Don't let this happen. Please. Please. But yeah, Gus, he's uh, he's going to miss the start of training camp. He's going to be out for the next 10 days. And it's tough. Um, I know people at, are probably going to ask, well, did you know, was he vaccinated or not? I'm not going to get into that whole situation. Because you could be vaccinated and still test positive. That's what happened to CP3. So you never know how it's going to go. But, you know, once you do test positive, you just got to go through the protocol and then you'll be back. What sucks is just that, man, the start is the first day. It's the first day. The first practice is tomorrow and already Gus is out. Come on, bro. <laughs> Why? Why? What an hour ago, I'm sitting there excited, like, yes, finally, training camp's back. Everybody's going to be there 100% ready to go. And then this news dropped, and I'm like, I can't believe. <sighs> well, all we can do is just make do with the situation. Hopefully, nobody else ends up testing positive. Hopefully, this doesn't become a trend because it's already, we already know how that went last year. That's just giving me terrible flashbacks to last season when that ended up happening to us. Hopefully that does not happen this season. Well, hopeful of that because you don't want guys missing time due, due to this whole situation. But they will miss time if they do test positive. They'll be on the protocol. So, yeah, Gus, he's out. He's out for the the first 10 days of training camp. He won't be able to practice. But he will be back right around the time of the first preseason game coming up. So that fall, that week of the first preseason game, that's when he'll officially be able to report to training camp and he can start practicing. But for now, he's just going to be going through any meetings. or He's going to go through the meetings virtually. And he won't be allowed to practice or be in the facility until this whole... He's finished with his protocol. So, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Already? It's the first day? It's going to happen on the first day? <sighs> well, let's just hope this does not become a trend for the Ravens because... We already know what happened last season. We're not trying to have that happen again this season. Hopefully this won't we won't have other reports of this happening. Let's just hope it ends here. You know, Gus goes through the protocol. He comes back at the end of the 10 days and we just keep trucking forward because ugh, we can't let this happen, man. He can't let this happen. Please, please, please don't let this happen. So much potential for this season. Can't reach that potential if players aren't able to play. But yeah, we'll see uh We'll see Gus in, in 10 days. We'll see him on the practice field in 10 days. But, you know, I know he's going to go through the protocol. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's uh, terrible news. Terrible news on the first day. Already losing Gus. He's not going to be able to practice for a good chunk of training camp. Not going to be here to start off. So that's horrible. But it is what it is. We just have to keep trucking. And when he gets back, we'll still be moving forward. That being said, man, that's all I got, man. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. We lost Gus to start off. I'm out, man. Peace.